What is going on you guys? Alex here with T-Sport Line bringing you another Tesla video. Today we're going to be looking at T-Sport Line's Tree Frog bike racks for Tesla models. We've got our overlanding Model Y here for demonstration. We're going to go ahead and get into this and show you how it works. So here is the Pro 2 double bike rack. This has a 45 pound capacity between two bikes. So you can either run one bike at a time or two as long as you're underneath that 45 pound capacity with the two bikes. So the front rack here has four suction cups and there's gonna be one suction cup for each rear tire. And the first step to installing this is gonna to be to clean the roof really well. All of the kits you get from us at T-Sport Line are gonna include a microfiber towel as well as a spray bottle to clean that roof. All right, we're up here at the roof. I'm using the door sills on this Model Y to get up here. So for our front rack, we're gonna go about 11 inches back from the front of the windshield. And this is gonna give us enough room in the back for most bikes to be able to open the lift gate without running into the rear tires. And like we said earlier, you wanna make sure you wash your roof first. So we've already done that. So we're just gonna take the spray bottle here and the microfiber, wipe this down to get any dust that may have gotten on here. And then we're gonna get started. Make sure you get this completely dry as well. So the rack is gonna come with these green covers over the suction cups. This is gonna protect them from any dirt and debris getting into them. So before we install this, we're gonna need to pull this off. And you can do that by just grabbing here and firmly pulling back. And anytime the rack is not in use, you wanna make sure you have these on to protect your suction cups. If any dirt and stuff gets in there, they're not gonna have a good suction to the roof. So real quick, I'm gonna take our towel Let's get any dust out of here. And now we're ready to take this to the roof. So again, we're going about 11 inches back from the windshield here on this front rack. And we already have ours marked. And as far as centering, you can use the camera here in the middle of the windshield as a guide to get it centered up. So once you've got it up here, it's as simple as pushing down firmly on our first suction cup here on the side. And we're just gonna press the button and just keep pressing it until the suction cup flattens all the way out and then you know it's on there. All right, we're on the opposite side now and you're gonna notice a little bit of space on this cup due to the curvature of the roof. So make sure you really press down firm on this one. And again, we're gonna hit our plunger here, get it suctioned down. now we're on there. All right, now our middle two suction cups. And you can really feel the difference in that plunger once it bottoms all the way out. You'll know once you've got it all the way down there. So now we are very secure on there. That rack is not going anywhere. You can pull on it really hard and you can see it is suctioned on the top. All right, so before we load, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this nut on the end here all the way off just because our particular mountain bike, the forks are a little wide and this makes it easier to get it in there. You may or may not have to do this depending on your bike. And once you do get this all the way off, there's a little spring here on the end. I'm gonna hold on to this so we don't lose it. All right, now we've got our bike up here. I'm just gonna pick up on the rear tire to get our rear suction cup underneath. There's a little groove for the tire to sit in. So we can just set that down, make sure your strap goes through the spokes. And we can just ratchet this down tight. And then we're also gonna hit our plunger here to suction this down. All right, and this bike is ready to go.
All right, now that we're all loaded up, we're just gonna go back and double check all of our suction cups, make sure the plungers are all the way down. There's no white showing. And this is just gonna make sure that we are good to go. All right, now, last thing, we're gonna take this strap here and just Velcro these pedals in place so they don't spin around as we're driving and come into contact with the roof. All right, I'm gonna open up the gate here, get the rear tires loaded up. Now we can also check our rear clearance here. As you can see, the gate can open all the way. We've got plenty of room there. Now, when it comes time to remove the roof rack, the process is gonna be the same for all of these suction cups. It's actually very simple. You're gonna find these two tabs on either end and you can just go right here and take your finger and we're just gonna lift up on the cup and it's gonna release the pressure and you can take the suction cup off. So that is gonna do it today for our install and overview of T-Sport Lines Tree Frog Pro 2 Double Bike Rack. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like. And if you're not already, subscribe and hit the bell to be notified whenever we post new videos. We've got lots more Tesla content coming very soon. And lastly, if you wanna check this out for yourself, you can do that at tsportline.com. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next one.